Hello everyone, welcome to the Solidity Fundamentals course. I am Anjali and I will be your guide for this course. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss about another reference type data type known as mapping. So mapping is one of the most important reference data types. Uh, so because in solidity, we have something which is known as a key value pair and mapping data type is used to save that relationship. So if you have come across a dictionary or a hash table data structure in other programming languages, then you are uh, you must be aware of the concept of the key value pair. So let me explain this to you. So many a times it is required for us to save a relationship in our data. So we, we know that you know data is so one data is associated with another kind of data through some relationship and we want to save that relationship as it is. So let me give an example. For example, we were taking a course example. So maybe I want to uh, save a course ID. So I want to say that for a particular course ID, these are the course details. Now a course can have multiple details as we discussed in the last lesson. So our course can be, uh, so what is the number of students which are enrolled for a particular course? What is the name of the course? Whether it's a free course or a paid course? If it is a paid course, then what is the fees for this course? What are the number of lessons in this course? What are the number of quizzes for this course? What are the number of assignments associated with course? So like this, you can see there are a lot of information which is related to the single course. But there can be multiple courses and this information would vary from course to course. So now what you want to do is you want to actually save this information on your contract in a meaningful manner so that whenever you want to retrieve it, it's not a difficult thing for you. So in, when you are discussing databases there, it's very easy that, you know, you create tables and databases, you save the data in the form of rows. But here in, in the, when, when uh, in, we are writing code in smart contracts, so you have something called as a mapping data type. So here you can keep the course ID as the key. You can say that mapping will have a key which is of an uh, unsigned integer type. So, uh, in mapping, so let me just tell you that there can be a key and there can be a, there will be a value associated with this. So now this key can be any built-in data type present in solidity language plus string data type and bytes are also allowed, but not any other reference data type. That means you cannot have a struct or an enum or a dynamic array as a key in mapping. Simple data types which uh, you have heard like the primitive ones, for example, an unsigned integer or a string or a boolean or an address. So all these data types are allowed for, uh, for being the key. So as we were discussing, our course ID, which will be an unsigned integer can act as a key and the whole course details can act as value. So these values can be of any types. There is no restriction on value. So it can be any reference or built-in data types. So if we are talking about the information as I, I, I was discussing with you, all the course details, so it's better to create a struct and, uh, and keep that struct as a value type in a mapping. So what will happen is that your course ID will be related to the entire struct or the entire course details. And whenever you want to access those details, you only have to pass in the key. So there is a unique key value pair. So remember, it's, it has to be unique. Okay, So there cannot be two same keys in a mapping with different values. So th this key value pair has to be unique always. So when we say unique, that means when I put a key in the mapping data type, I will get the complete struct as a value so I can uh, re retrieve all the values from there. It's a very handy, very useful data type. And most of the times you see that, you know, this is used to store, uh, to uh, link information with the address data type. So there are other use cases, multiple use cases for this data type, but one most common use case is supposedly you want to link some details with the address part. So you keep the key as the address and the value can be anything. For example, you can, you want to maybe maintain a list of people who have minted an NFT. 
in your using your smart contract so that you don't want them to mint it again so you only want people to mint it once so for that what you do is the moment a user mints an nft you say you put that key uh, you build a map you mapping data type and you put that address as key and keep put the boolean as false or true depending upon the use case marking that that particular address has minted an nft so next time you accordingly check whether that address is true true means it has already minted so it should not be allowed to mint again so this is one uh, a more example of using a mapping data type melder very useful data type so when you will be writing smart contracts you will understand the importance and the value uh, so it will automatically click in that you know you need to uh, you are uh, maintaining some important information and you will need to get it back in some other function There's one function you are creating some important information so you want to retrieve it in some other function so how to do that using a mapping data type so the syntax for a mapping data type is very simple you use a mapping keyword and in the brackets first you write the key value type so data type of the key whether it's going to be an unsigned integer so then you can read uint otherwise string boolean whatever or string byte whatever so that key data type is mentioned then you put an arrow equal to and greater than sign and then you write the value type basically what is the value type going to be whether it's going to be a struct then you will have to pass the name of the struct you'll have to define the struct before and then pass that so if i d d define a struct no name as course and i set all the values then i'll pass course over here so or any struct or enum or simple strings anything is possible so you just have to mention the data types for both key and value and your mapping is declared so as i told you the most commonly used uh, use case for mapping is to link the ethereum addresses with certain value types like structs or enums or strings so now we'll be moving on to a remix id and we'll be writing our own mapping and then we'll be deploying the code and checking the results so here i have defined a contract called as mapping and i've written the license and the solidity version line already so let's create a mapping as i told you it begins with the mapping uh, keyword then round brackets so let's first create a very simple mapping to understand the use case so i'm basically trying to save the course id uh, and the course name and i want to maintain a relationship between that so i'm saying that my course id will be an integer type and this will be the key and the value will be string which will be the course name and i am writing course course name course details maybe that would be a better name course details mapping data type for that uh, so before this i'll also have to mention the visibility as always public and yeah so i have declared a mapping so as you can see it's a user defined reference data type so you would write the mapping keyword and i write integer string I mentioned the visibility so that a getter is created automatically by solidity and i've given the name of this data type so in order to set values as you know that we'll have to declare a function for changing the state variables values so let me give the name as set value and what i will be taking input from the user is one is the obviously the uh, course id right and i will be saving the value to be course name so string you know when you use string in function arguments you have to write memory i've told you this so string memory and we will be writing course name and public we'll have to make it sorry public so that getter function is created for this and yeah so yeah so button will be created for this so here how to declare the mapping values how to set values in a mapping basically so till now our course details mapping is empty we have just declared it not initialized it so now what we are saying is we will be writing course details which is our mapping so it is similar to our array initialization so for square brackets inside this we will be mentioning the uh, id uh, the key basically which is the course id in our case so we are saying that the key is mentioned in the square brackets for this mapping and against this you have to store the value as course name okay that's it so let me compile this 
you can see the green tick and let us also deploy this. Now you can see I have deployed the code and if I show you here, so before setting a value if you see course detail you can see that it is asking for a key. So course detail is basically a mapping which we have defined and it will always ask for a key and then it will return the value to you. But right now it is empty so even if I pass any key for example I pass 1 to it and I click here so a blank string is returned because in solidity there is no concept of null. So basically it will never show you that this key does not exist. Solidity will never give you that message. So any key if you put if that does not exist it will give you a blank result. So this means that nothing has been set. But now let me set. So for course ID 1 if I am passing the course name to be solidity and I click on set value and now if I click on course detail again you see the moment I click on course detail 1 the course name solidity appears. Again if I put 2 here again you see it is a blank. But if I give 2 and I write here rust, I set value and now if I set course detail, you see rust has been returned. So for against key, uh, key type 2, against course ID 2, it has saved the value rust. So in my code, whenever I want to discuss, whenever I want to retrieve a particular course name using the course ID, I can use this mapping. So this is a simple uh, use case for mappings but as I told you that you know most commonly uh, mappings are used for addresses and structs also. So there are more complicated ways of using a mapping data structure. We will be writing those kind of codes in our upcoming smart contracts where you will see that we are trying to uh, uh, link a key with a proper struct and how do we access that struct, how do we create that struct. We are going to see all of it but for now you just remember that mapping is a key value data type. So that's it for today's lesson. See you in the next class.